Hello again, everyone, and welcome to another Linux tutorial. My name is RB Plays. Thanks so much for stopping by. If this is your first time here, please do consider hitting that subscribe button and get notified every time we put new content up on the channel. Uh, today, we're going to talk about Java. Uh, Java specifically, the OpenJDK uh, version of Java for Linux distributions. Um, today, most of our newer Linux distributions are being, dist are being released with the current version of Java OpenJDK, which is version 11. And uh, for those of you that just play Minecraft, uh, vanilla Minecraft will work just fine using Java 11. However, if you play modded Minecraft, you don't have that option. Modded Minecraft is very reliant on Java 8. And so in order to be able to get your modded instance of Minecraft to work on any of the Linux Mint distributions, you're going to have to make sure that you have Java 8 installed. So like I said, newer versions have uh, have Java 11 installed by default. So the first thing that you really need to do is you need to figure out which version of Java that you have. And you can do that by typing in the following command, Java dash version. You, when you hit Java dash version, it will tell you what your current version of Java is. It says that we have the open JDK. It is version 11. It is the open JDK, uh, JDK runtime version 11, and it is a 64, uh, 64 bit server that will work for just a regular old vanilla Minecraft instance, but it will not work for uh, a version of uh, modded. So in order to fix that, what we actually need to do is we actually need to remove the older version of Java or the newer version of Java. And you can do that by uh, doing uh, the following command. And that is, let me scroll through here and I will find it. So, okay, so you wanna type in sudo apt-get purge dash dash auto dash remove open JDK asterisk, right? So what this is gonna do is this is gonna give you sudo or super user, super doer commands. Uh, so you'll have to put in a password. apt-get is, uh, is the program, apt is the program that uses, uh, that Linux uses to install or remove programs. Purge means that you're going to remove everything about Java, everything about the following command. We want to use the auto, meaning that it's just going to do it. And it, and then, of course, remove is it's going to pull the files away from it. It's going to take the files off of your system. There should be no trace of anything open JDK. And the asterisk means all. So anything associated with open JDK should be purged from the system. So we're going to go ahead and hit enter. And it's going to do a lot of stuff. It's going to make sure that you, it's going to say, are you sure you want to do this? Yes, I am. We'll let that run. And it should be done. So now if we go back to a clear screen, you don't have to run clear. I just like to work on a clear screen anytime I can. Uh, if we do the Java version again, and if you hit the up arrows, it'll go through all the commands that you've put in. If you hit Java dash version again, it'll say that there's no such file. There's nothing there, right? So now we're ready to install Java 8. So in order to install Java 8, you want to find that command in your system. Well, you won't find it. You'll type this in. Uh, and I have done this once before. I actually took Java 8 off and installed, um, installed Java 11 so that we could run through this tutorial. Now, I use the OpenJDK uh, JDK Developers Kit as well as the JRE. If all you want to do is play games, you only need the JRE. I'm going to install both. Hit Enter. It'll say, are you sure? Yes, I am. Anytime you use sudo, if you have used sudo for the first time, you will have to input your password. If you're not installing, if you're not using sudo for the first time, if it's only been a couple of minutes, you probably will be able to bypass right past that. But once this completes, Java then should be completely installed on your system. We'll, we'll run Java version one more time. And as you can see, we now have Java OpenJDK version 1.8 and we are ready to go and play some Minecraft goodness. Folks, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe. And thank you so much for being here for, uh, uh, for all of these tutorials. I hope you're enjoying them. If you want to see anything other, anything else, make sure you leave that down in the comments. But until next time, we will catch you on the flip side. We'll see you later, everybody. Bye-bye.